Stick up the battery and you're good to go. I still love tail in the water, but like I said, guys, this this uh tallow here is like it's like waterproof, you know, water resistant deal. So, all you gotta do is as soon as you go home, you clean this up. See, here I got no worries, it's just a swimming pool. But if you go ahead and use this on the other like beach and salt water you gotta clean it right away i mean you gotta take it off apart this one right here is kind of like fresh water chlorine so it's not a big deal um i'll show you how to do that but right now he's he is totally um water drop so i'm just gonna go ahead and you know hold you can go like this with it but i most likely i just hold it like that and then as soon as i go home with it then i can go ahead and do my uh you know air blow I mean, right now, this guy's, this is the only, um, Tello is the only drone that's actually basically almost like a waterproof. I would say water resistance. Um, it's still able to work. Hello guys, so all I have to do is basically take off the back shell of this uh, Tello. And you're going to have four screws and also you're going to have two screws from the camera. And once you get it all off, all you have to do is just keep it like this and just use a blower or if you had to if you think it's dirt in there you can just use a fresh water do not use any alcohol or any other chemical on this motherboard because to be honest with you this motherboard has a coating to it for the water damage DJI did that for a reason and that's the reason why Tello can outstand this environment or anything else it can handle pretty much water damage and once you get all that and just put it all together, make sure everything is dry, put everything back and it's all set. And make sure the battery is charged and you're all set to go. And this is how I start my tello. Go ahead and turn it on. And just wait. And it's on. You see that? And it works perfectly. See? You record. It's going to take a picture. See that? So you could say this is a water resistant drone. And then I'm just going to go ahead and let it idle. Hold on. It's idling right now. Sorry. So what you want to do is, if you want to do that, you want to go ahead and dry. You want to go ahead and dry your, uh, I call this your motor, each one of them. Because you dump this in the, I call this, if you dump this in the chlorine, you want to make sure everything is fine. So that's what I'm doing right now. Making sure everything is okay. And I can go here and make it go brighter. A little more down here and I can go here now it's much brighter and it's all set perfect perfect without no problem even though this thing falls in the water and then you want to go to land to make sure everything is okay and then go back here all right guys you have to do the imu this is really important because this is basically the brain of tello <laughs> so you want to go ahead and do all this um it will show you an instruction in the settings how to do all this i mean it's most important thing especially when you have a big crash i would recommend anytime that you especially if you want to fly somewhere else or you're gonna do a long range you want to do this you know so it's very important and that's the reason why i'm showing it to you in this video so imu is a must and you get to go and it's up so okay so i have it there and the one thing that you need, you need to do 
and then you go back out here and then a little bit more and then you go here and you press yes center of gravity calibration is a must guys okay so the reason why i'm saying that because this thing this tello has a bottom position sensor um it's actually like a laser so you want to make sure that you want this solid steady <laughs> so especially with the big crashes i always do this or if you're not too sure if your tello is moving around different angle or different if you go inside the side i will do this it's important and you're good to go again now your tello is alive and it's all brand new see that guys even water can even affect it